Welcome to the Sherry and Bill show today. Yay! Thank well, you for Sherry. being here today. My name's not on there, it's yours. I know. The Sherry show. I know it, but I'll tell you, I miss having you here. You must miss getting insulted. I did. Is. You were so much fun. You were so much fun, and occasionally people took you seriously. Well, that's, and they thought you were uh, being mean to me, and you were never mean to me. And and, and no, I, I love her. Y'all yes, gotta get and that I have right. to say, during all the years that we've been together, you helped me through some really, really tough times, and that's what friends are for. Well, I that's hope what so. friends are for. Now, I have seen your little family go from you and Melissa and four kids to you and Melissa and seventy grandkids. So. Well, we. <laughs> How we, many are there now? We have six, <laughs> and there's one more on the way due in May. So uh, Who's pregnant again? Our youngest, Ansley. Is mm -hmm. she? Gosh, she's so precious. That's the baby, what the young people call the baby bump uh -huh, going on. So, uh -huh, you know, uh -huh. she's doing all right. Well, I'm going to ask you this. When I was getting pregnant, we wore dresses that concealed all that. I don't want to see that bump. And now they wear these tight, stretchy things, and they're so proud of that little baby bump. It's weird to me. Yeah, a lot of them even pull their shirt up and let you see the <laughs> yes, skin. It's yes. like, yeah, uh -uh, okay. Yeah, I still have my mama's maternity outfit that she wore many, many moons ago, and it very discreetly conceals everything. What happened in fashion? Uh, How do you feel about when Melissa was pregnant? Did you want her to be all hanging out, or were you good with, let's cover that thing up? Well, she was mostly pregnant in the 80s and the early 90s, so we still had Double the... Double knit. Yeah, well, we still had the conservative <laughs> features yes, going yes. on, and, and I, mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm old-fashioned, too. You know, I'm in my 50s, so yeah. I like the old-fashioned ways. I mean, I don't, I don't care to see you wearing a bed sheet, but, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, don't, I don't really it's care different. for the spandex on a... Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I just, I was watching a news lady in Atlanta who had a baby about four weeks ago, and, and the bigger she got and the more, and it was like, come on. Get some maternity clothes and hide that thing because it makes you hurt. You know what kind of pain that woman's in. You know? Yeah, I've been in the I've been in the room with them a yeah. time or two. So. Yeah, you've heard a little bit of screaming going on. Yeah, I was in the I was in the delivery room on all four occasions of ours and got wow. to watch it up close and personal. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, y'all are so blessed because your kids are all healthy, they're happy and um, doing well. Yeah. Now, Kaylee has had some health issues. Is she okay now? Yeah, well, most of you know Kaylee. She performed at Dollywood. Still lives up in Sevierville. She's she's had some health issues, but she seems to be doing well now. And uh, I mean, she's 30 years old, so she's still she young. She put her body through so much <laughs> as a dancer, as a performer, and yeah. then to have four babies back to back. Yeah, she had four of them, just bing, bang, boom. And, yeah. Uh, but she's enjoying that. She's. She's retired from performing, and she's a full-time mother, as you can well imagine, with four of them. Mm -hmm, so. mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, were they involved in any way in any of the <laughs> fires? Did anything they own get hit? Nothing they own got hit. Uh, her husband, uh, Kaylee's husband, he uh, went and volunteered and helped uh, with some rescue efforts and uh, sent us some amazing pictures and videos. And he, he was telling us while it was ongoing that there were a lot of people that were in their cars uh, that had abandoned their cars the doors were open but nobody was there so wow. he knew there were a lot of people missing wow. and there are still a lot of people missing they're still having accounting for everybody and it's there been are weeks. 14 confirmed dead mm -hmm. yeah yeah, yeah. And, and the youngsters that started one of the fires are still in custody mm -hmm. and some of the fires were started by transformers he, he was telling me the wind was up to 90 miles an hour in that area during that that's time unbelievable period. Yeah. and it blew over transformers and some of the fires were actually started separately from one the one they were talking about mm -hmm. at gatlinburg and some of it reached right around the back side of Dollywood. They had some of their employees there with water hoses keeping yeah. the thing wet where it wouldn't burn. Wow. But, uh, yeah, it was an amazing situation, and a lot of people were hurt by that. And yeah. I, But it's recovering. Yeah, it is. Well, we're about to face four days of rain, and last <laughs> night, I being me, I whined a little bit about, oh, my gosh, it's going to rain for four or five days. And Freddie looked at me with that evil eye and said, uh, do you remember how long we didn't have rain? And I'm like, yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I remember. You know how we need felt. the rain so badly because the ground is still hard. We still have some issues. Yeah, we had a lot of... Uh, dry mowing this season past I, I can't 2016 even you just like choke yourself to death uh -huh. but yeah we need some rain we still need some good steady rain that slow stuff but uh -huh. uh, we'll take what we get now we're going to break some hearts today because somebody is sitting up in McKaysville and she said oh I'm so excited Bill's going to be there he's going to sing he's not because he has a congestion in your <laughs> well yeah I, was, I had a cold last week I was up at Sevierville going to see the grandchildren and it was three degrees on Sunday morning <laughs> 
and I was out in that trying to set up the RV and you know break it down all that. And I guess I overdid it, but yeah. I, I came home and got sick yeah, for a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I still got some congestion. So yeah. if I tried to sing, it would be like hearing the rooster crow in the uh -oh. morning. So, so we're not going to do that to you. We're not going to do that to you. Now, yesterday we talked about crafts and re restoring and redo redoing your bedroom, your furniture, your da 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 And you've started doing some pretty awesome stuff that we're going to share with our viewers in just a little bit. But I want to do the birthdays because, as always, we try to take care of birthdays. And there's a very, very special, beautiful young lady up in Fannin County who's celebrating a birthday today. And I bet her precious, beautiful grandmother is watching. So happy, happy birthday birthday to Morgan Chastain, happy birthday to Megan Kaler, happy birthday to Tammy Knight, to Christopher Brown, to Tammy Reed, to Mitchell Powell, to Richard Crowder, to Paulina Bruce, to Annabelle Lim tomorrow, and to Ruth Anna Wingo tomorrow, Susan Hansard tomorrow, and Keith Robertson, happy birthday to each and every one of you. And you had one last week. I did. I became officially older than dirt, and I'm excited about it because you know what? The alternative would be not to be here be having so dirt. much fun enjoying this yeah my wife turned uh, <laughs> something, uh two, two days ago yeah yeah so, yeah happy yeah, birthday to yeah. her happy birthday <laughs> i sent her a happy birthday on facebook and my son turned uh 25 no 26 yeah the day before that isn't he a good kid yeah he's a good boy he's a good boy he's a good boy and he has a good boy at home that is bigger than a bear isn't he that yeah, kid's he, growing he's gonna be uh Paul Bunyan, as they say. He's, <laughs> yeah. I swear, he's one year old. He turned one in October, but he is wearing three-year-old clothes. He's growing like a weed. He's already, like, if his mother holds him from her head to his head, he's already half her length. Isn't that and wild? And she's almost six feet tall. Yeah, so, and that's And one-year-old, he's just growing like a weed. Does he still have all the thick black hair? No, he don't have the black <clears> hair <throat> yet. Yet he's, His hair's kind of light color. Uh-huh. But Jordan's was, too. You know, he's dark-headed. When he was... About four or five, his turn started turning darker. Yeah. So yeah. We, we suspect Jordan, his will too. Between mom and dad, they have so much thick black hair. You're thinking that kid is going to yeah. look like he's got a wig on. So. Yeah, he, he won't have to color his hair for a <laughs> no, while. No, he won't while. have to color his hair. <laughs> but he's a good boy. Well, I, I got some good grandkids. You and Melissa have enjoyed some travels, and, and you shared a book with me, and it's amazing. I've always thought it would be fascinating to see the Grand Canyon. I'm terrified of heights. So you showed that me some That might not be photos. the place for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it, is it as glorious as you could imagine? Well, you know, in life, when you go see places, you travel. You've traveled. You've been to Alaska. Yeah. There's only a few places I've been that my jaw actually dropped. I mean, I've seen places and went, yeah, that's, that's nice. You know, that's pretty. Oh, that's great. Uh -huh. But when you go, to, I went to Niagara Falls several years ago, and my jaw dropped. Yeah. And I went to the Grand Canyon, and my jaw dropped. I'm just, you're just standing there, you're like, how did this happen? Yes, yes. What did this? I mean, you, you just look at it and you think, thank you, Jesus. You're looking yeah. at something that you just don't see every day. It's <clears throat> now, amazing. Standing there, does the ground feel secure? <laughs> yes. Because when you walked down on that ledge, and I, I, it almost gave me a heebie-jeebie feeling because I am so nervous about heights. And you were on that ledge. And I told you the story about Larry Dodson literally crawling out on the ledge because he couldn't mm. stand up. It scared him to death. Um, were there points of time that you were afraid? Oh, yeah. I mean, and you, I was looking around and making sure there was nobody behind How me. How deep is the Grand Canyon? Uh, it's at least a mile at places. Wow. But when I looked, over 5, I feet. went over to the edge and looked over <gasps> and... And you cannot even imagine how far down that is. No, no. It, it just layers and layers and layers and layers. It just keeps on layering down to the bottom. And we saw rams there with the big horns, you know. And, uh -huh. and they were walking these little trails. They weren't that wide. And they would jump off the edge and jump down onto those trails. And just oh, like it was gosh. nothing. Yeah. And we yeah. were taking pictures of that. And everybody from the world, Jap Japanese, Germans, everybody are there. So. Crazy. But it's a beautiful place. Uh, it, we went to the South Rim, we drove from Las Vegas, we flew to Las Vegas and stayed there. We, we drove five hours over to the Grand Canyon mm -hmm. and Air, Northern Arizona is beautiful. It's a uh, very high elevation and in fact the um, uh, Grand Canyon where we went was 6,000 feet elevation at that point. So you're up high and the air is just crisp and clean, you know, and, yeah. and nice to breathe. No but, smog. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. smog at all. Yeah, so. yeah. That's but I brought wild. you some pictures and showed you some. Now, when did you, um, is that your first time there? First time at the Grand Canyon, yes. We, we actually, we did the Grand Canyon, but we also went to Death Valley, mm -hmm. California. That, to me, was just as amazing. 
Is it hot and dry? Hot and dry. You can, your feet, it was only 83 degrees. We went in late, late, late October. It was only 83 when we were in there, but my feet were actually burning. Wow. And you can hear the ground cracking. Oh and there's one place there called Badwater Basin. It's the lowest place in North America. It's 282 feet below sea level. And my, it felt like somebody had their hand on my head pushing down. You're kidding. You know, if you've ever been underwater. So about, this, you wouldn't want to bake a cake there. No. Well, you could. But, <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. It might not rise. <laughs> there was this, well, the funniest thing about that trip was my wife, she kept telling her girlfriend and myself, I want to go see the Devil's Golf Course. They got a sign that said the Devil's Golf Course out in the middle of Death Valley. So she thought it was going to be this nice golf course. We, yeah. Here comes the sign where you start driving down this little bumpy road. <laughs> you get down there and you're in the bottom of Death Valley and all it is is where the ground has turned over. The salt has gotten so bad and dry that the ground has turned over. It's like somebody took a great big plow in there and turned it over. And on the top of that is salt deposits. Wow. So as far as you can see, it's just white and it's all turned over. You can't even walk on it. And they said- Is it like crystallized white? Crystallized white wow. and, and it's evaporating. So when you're standing there, you're looking out across Death Valley and it's just a white haze, but it's just as far as the eye can see. Gosh. And the reason they named it that was they said the ground was so bad, only the devil could play golf there. Oh, so. how funny. <laughs> now, does it smell salty? It smells a little salty. Uh -huh. uh, it's just super dry. Your nose and your mouth, you can just feel it drawing in. You know, I don't know how anybody yeah. survives there. See, I'm claustrophobic, and just the things you're talking <clears throat> about, that would make me feel a little unnerved. But actually, it's so wide open. <laughs> I mean, here in North Georgia, you see, you might can see, you know, mountain ranges and stuff like that, but my goodness, when you get out there in those areas out west, you can just see for dozens of dozens of miles, and it's just as far as the eye can see. Wow. I got on one road, I shouldn't tell you this, but we were in Southern California at Death Valley heading back to Pahrump, Nevada to go back to Las Vegas, and I found this road, we were headed to rental car, you know, and uh, I said, I wonder how fast this thing can go, it says it does 140. <laughs> Well, uh -oh. I looked around, there were no drones, you know, no police drones, no police, there was nobody, not even a bird. Uh -oh. I hadn't seen not one bird uh -oh. anywhere in, in Death Valley. Well, anyway, no witness to no this. Witness to this. So we, we come across this thing and it, I saw this road and I couldn't even see the end of it. It was straight as a pin and for miles, I just punched, punched down on it and there it goes that thing and we were just riding down through there as pretty as you please. It was fun. Yeah. But you can't do that here in Georgia without getting caught. No, so. you can't. No, you can't. <laughs> now, um, when when y'all kind of semi-retired, because Melissa did retire from a real job, and then mm -hmm. she took those years with you, and you kind of plan your travels around your your downtime. Right. But you found a new hobby, and we're going to talk about that in a couple of minutes. Well, that's an old hobby I've just kind of, you know, I still Got do it gotten better at I've been it doing too. It for years. All right, we are going to share something with y'all. We're going to share a flashback of Bill and I six years ago, I believe, and and some music. And then we're going to share one of my favorite recipes ever. And the lady who gave me this cookie recipe, I want y'all to write this down. I want you to try this cookie. I will tell you that Miss Olga Burgess made me these cookies every Christmas for many, many years. I would pick them up in Alabama, and I swear to you, before I hit the Georgia line, about half of them were gone. They melt in your your mouth. They are the best cookies I ever tasted ever because they're just simple and yummy, yummy, yummy. She passed away just a couple of months ago and I'm going to go get to see her daughter in a couple of weeks and I'm excited about it because Bonnie and I have said we haven't seen each other in 20 years. And, and she said, you know, when we were cleaning out Mama's house, there were more pictures of you in there than there were of me because my mama loved you. And I want to share Miss Olga's recipe with y'all. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to come back, and Bill's going to share something that he's been making, and it's absolutely beautiful. So we'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Because oh. I don't have time to fool with it. But I'm going to tell you, we're going to give you a very special song. When I look back at all the guests that have ever been on this show, and I look back at all the songs that have really, really touched me, there was a night in Jasper, Georgia, you were there. The Barker stepped on stage, and Angie Barker sang the song Family Chain. And she talked about the love that her grandparents had for each other and, and how they shared their life and how happy they were together. And when I thought about Miss Bessie, I thought, you know, I bet there have been some happy, happy memories in her life. So today for Miss Bessie Long, my birthday gift to you is a song by Angela Barker. It is a wonderful song that talks about your family and what your family means to you. And uh, you are part of our family, and thank you for being a big part of our ETC family. She never misses a show. That's never, great. never, never. So have a great, great day today, and happy, happy birthday to you. And here is my gift to you, Angela Barker singing Family Chain. We go to a lot of homecomings, and 
This is one that they always request. It's called Family Chain. if I can. My grandfather lived to be 96 years old and he and my grandmother had been married over 70 years when he passed away. And my grandmother always said that, that he needed her to take care of him and he always said that she needed him to take care of her. But my grandmother passed away within six months of my grandfather's passing and they really needed each other. And when one of them was gone, the other had no purpose to be here anymore. And that song is very special to me, and I hope it was a blessing to you. Thank you. And a good deal. Y'all pray for us. You know, I guess uh, it's kind of strange to see somebody uh, shed a tear. But uh, that's just the way we are. We just have to go the way the Lord leads us. And uh, y'all pray for us.
High-speed Wi-Fi. Not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. I'm Lawrence Smith, the University of Georgia. Today we have John Davis, former Georgia Tech All-American, Frank Ross, captain of the Bulldogs 1980 National Championship team in a Subway showdown. Subway. How many Subways does that Singleton own? He just up with number 17. He started in my hometown of LJ. Yeah, but he graduated from the University of Georgia. Oh. Hey guys, who's hungry? It looks like Subway and Singleton Food Services Incorporated, the winner again. I love Subway. Fountain Roofing has been providing excellent service for 35 years. Let Lonnie assist you in choosing the roof perfect for your home and your budget. Commercial or residential, he can handle it all. Fountain Roofing continues to provide quality workmanship and will provide references upon request. At Fountain Roofing, we've got you covered. Call Lonnie at 706-692-6997. That's 706-692-6997. In today's changing world, some things should never change. Time-honored, compassionate services are what families have come to know with Roper Funeral Home. Our professional and courteous staff offers traditional services, cremations, as well as advanced funeral planning, which relieves the burden from those we love. Hello, I'm Kevin Roper. If you have any questions about the services we provide, we invite you to give us a call, stop by, or better yet, ask a family who has used our services. We've had Alpha Insurance since our first daughter. And when we had quadruplets, <laughs> we really needed Alpha. Now we need our own insurance with great rates, fast claim service, and a local agent we know. And we want to company our kids 
and grandkids can trust. <laughs> Best agents in the business. Call Ed Steph in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center in Canton specializes in low-level pain management. We provide a holistic approach to treatment, managing knee, back, and joint pain along with migraines, allergies, and medical weight loss through holistic and alternative approaches rather than pharmaceutical treatments. By offering multiple specialties under one roof, including chiropractic care and neuropathy injection treatment, we create the continuity of care that assures positive patient outcomes. So take the first step to a life free of pain. Give us a call or go online today to georgiamtc.com. Hello everybody, my name is Roberto Pereira. I'm a cardiologist practicing at Piedmont Mountain Side at Jasper, Georgia. I'd like to invite you to join me as I talk to some very interesting people about health. Sometimes physicians, sometimes nurses, sometimes both. And the name of the program is called Doctor Talk. It airs twice a week at ETC TV. Okay, we're going to queue up now for the cookie recipe that Tori and I did. And I will tell you, Bill, you got to get Melissa to make these cookies. There's something about the crispness of them, and, and it's good. Do you like pecans? I love pecans. Okay, because the pecans are in them. Can I see your uh, cutting boards? Because our audience with ETC hasn't seen these yet. Now, this is a cheese board, and I, I really like this. It's not too heavy. This is a great gift for a shower. Mm -hmm. How much would this cost? Uh, probably about $25, $30, okay. maybe. All right, to give a handmade gift, that is so cool. Yep. And this is maple and black walnut. Of course, black walnut is my favorite. Yep. And that one is heavy. And yeah, it, this is, is a it cutting three board. three or four kinds of wood? <clears throat> well, I got one, two, three, four, four different kinds of wood. And uh, it's, it's mainly for cutting. You know, you put your chicken on there or your vegetables. See, and it's so pretty. I don't want to cut on something that nice well, because made, you don't want to mess them up. A lot of the ones I've made that people have gotten, they don't cut up with them they just mm -hmm. display them so, yes you know, yeah, yeah that's their yeah. choice but uh, I make yeah. them to use because we use food grade mineral oil so that's safe and the glue that I actually use is is safe too it's non-toxic so uh -huh. it's uh nice little gifts and we enjoy making them so so if you're looking for a shower gift or or a um, homecoming or homecoming a, a new home gift then that's a great this is a great idea I love that I noticed you didn't use black walnut and it's not very readily available you didn't use much of it not much because it is expensive. is it a hard wood is very the wood hard, hard? Okay. very hard and so it's, it's uh, good for that kind of work and a lot of people like making furniture out of it it's, it's, it's a beautiful wood it is and I like cherry too <clears throat> this board's got some cherry in it so I now, we're back in front of a table that you and I occupied for many years. And actually, I stole it from another set because I sat over there for about two and a half years and I kept saying, I want my table back. And then one day I got the nerve to go steal it back and I did. I love this table and I don't even know what kind of wood it is. But you know, when we were designing the set years ago, I went to Brenda Evans and I said, okay, I've got something on my mind. This, this, it just worked you know it just worked and and i liked the color i liked the way we can put two over here two over there i liked this table and and this is one of those things i don't know where it came from i don't know where she got it but she only had one of them and i said i don't want you to sell more of these this is the sherry table <laughs> so and i just like it there's something about the feeling of the warm wood you know mm -hmm. it just there's something about wood that's comforting yeah like I, i've done woodwork for many years and i've done a lot of it with uh, inferior tools but uh, you know over the years I picked up some good tools and uh, good equipment so I, I enjoy doing I have a quilt things. rack you made me mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. yep yep well, you did that for a while I've been making also uh, you've seen plate racks that uh, hold plates up yes. to stand up I've yes. been making a lot of those and my wife loves that because I built her a you know we like antiquing yes yes and I've got more than I need actually I, I've got a, a room I built for her I call it the blue room because I painted <laughs> I painted it blue but uh, it, it houses all of our antiques. Well, I wouldn't say about half of them. Yeah. And yeah. I started making a lot of plate and platter racks and stuff. I even uh -huh. go to auctions a lot and buy junk I shouldn't be buying. I mean, I buy antiques out the wazoo. So. Does she like the big old platters? Oh, I yeah. love big old I platters. love them more than she does. Yeah, I love Turkey them. Turkey platters. I got one at an auction I had never seen. It had a rooster on it. 
and it had all kind of colors and stuff. It was gorgeous. I had to have it. So yeah, yeah, I yeah, it. yeah, yeah. So raise a hand, raise a hand. <laughs> yeah, raise a ticket. Yeah, <laughs> there take you my go. money. There you go. We're going to take you back to my kitchen. Um, several years ago, when Tori and Tori came home from college, and we made Miss Olga Burgess's cookies. Now these cookies are—it's um, a little bit of a detail recipe. You have to do the soda, and I think the soda brings it a little crispness, and it's—it's it's a little bit interesting. It's such a great recipe. And it, it is so, it, it's one of those things, once you give it as a gift, mm -hmm. every Christmas people are like, you going to give me the same thing again this year? You going to make me some more of those sure. cookies again this year? I expect it. And it's like if you find a good pound cake, you love it. If you find this cookie recipe, you don't vary away from don't change. that. Don't it. If it ain't broke, don't it. fix That's it. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. So we're going to share Ms. Olga's recipe. We're also going to share a Krispy Kreme tree. Because there's something about, I, growing up in Atlanta, um, we had a Krispy Kreme very, very close. Close enough that I could smell the grease Lucky at 3 a.m. Yeah. And so I bought a bunch of Krispy Kreme donuts, and Tori and I made a Krispy Kreme Christmas tree. And it was yummy. Of course it was yummy. It was Krispy Kreme. So, so anyway, stuff. we're going we're gonna to take a, a break, and we're going to go away from y'all, and we're going to share this recipe with you. And then I promise you I will put this recipe on Facebook tonight. Cookies for Santa, a recipe that I have gotten as a gift many Christmases from my friend Miss Olga Burgess in Albertville, Alabama, but I've never made them. And you're your game, so we're going to make them, right? Why not? We're going to make them. Tori, tell me the ingredients. We're going to use two sticks of margarine, three fourths a cup of sugar, a half a tablespoon, half a teaspoon of salt, <laughs> half a teaspoon of vinegar, white vinegar. Half a teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of vanilla, and one and three-fourths cups plain flour, and a cup of pecans. Sounds good. Tori, let's put these cookies together. Let's do it. Okay, we have two sticks of butter that we're going to cream with our sugar. Okay, Tori, we're going to cream the butter and sugar together. We have softened, actually this is margarine, and everybody who knows my cooking knows I don't use margarine, but tonight we're using margarine. Okay, Tori, tell me what we do next. We have creamed the sugar and butter. All right, so if you've creamed the margarine and the sugar together, now you're going to add the salt and vanilla and then slowly add the flour as you mix it up together. Right. And then the vinegar and the baking soda, we had to mix together half a teaspoon of each. Right. Set it aside for 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then it does... I think it becomes a new compound that helps the cookies stay together. That's Absolutely. what I'm thinking. I think it makes them the crunchy little crispy taste they have. So um, we're going to add our vanilla. That's a teaspoon, right? <laughs> Looks like it to me. In this kitchen it is. And salt. We're going to add our salt. Do and you want to be mixing it? I'm going to be mixing it, yes. And we're going to slowly add the flour, just a little bit at a time. Now we've got to scrape the baking soda in there. Scrape it right in the middle. We're going to scoop this into a bowl and refrigerate it for a little while. Let it chill. And we're going to be working on one of our family's favorite things. What is that, Joy? Krispy Kreme Christmas trees. Krispy Kreme. And when you see the hot sign, you know our car pulls up. Tree beautiful. It is adorable. Now, honestly, today, when I walked in with three dozen donuts, did you think I'd lost my mind? No, I thought you were the greatest grandmother <laughs> to grace this planet. <laughs> and you took some decorating tubes mm -hmm. and you created, has the hot sign and all. What does okay. it say? It says hot donuts right now. Hot donuts right now. And we know that sign, don't we? Oh, it translates to pull in, pull in. <laughs> it does, it does. And now Ansley is waiting to taste this. And I think that's going to be a good dessert, don't you? I think we can let her dive into it. I think we can think do so. that. I think we can do it's that. It's about time we broke her in. It's time. It's time. She's another generation coming along. Yep. Tori, I think our dough is chill. Oh, I'm so excited about making these. Okay, Tori, we're going to add our pecans. We have a cup of pecans that we're adding to our mixture, and then we're going to roll this in small balls. Now, Nanny, for people that don't like pecans, why are they not optional in this recipe? Well, 
you can do it without it, but we, um, my sister-in-law tried it without pecans because one of her family members didn't like them, and she said it just needed that kick. But, you know, if you don't like nuts or if you can't eat nuts, by all means, try it. Now, we are going to roll these into small balls quickly before the dough gets warm. And I promise you, these will melt in your mouth. If they're as good as Miss Olga's, I think I hear Santa. Are those sleigh bells? <gasps> I sure we better hope so. hurry. Oh, we better hurry. Oh, my goodness. You know, he'll be so impressed. Okay, let's stick these. You stick right. these in the oven. And remember, the oven's on 325. And we use a convection oven. Wow, Tori, they smell great. Fresh out of the oven. They're warm. And if we hurry, I think I heard some sleigh bells. <gasps> I hear sleigh bells. Tori, hurry, take them in there and let's get ready. Santa's gonna be coming down the chimney. And we wanna pretend we're asleep. Yeah. Whoever made these cookies will be getting a lot of presents for Christmas. <laughs> From our house to yours, Merry Christmas and may God bless you. Well, it's Thursday. And oh, yummy. that was fun. I love that recipe, and I'm going home and make those cookies now that your mom sent some more pecans. So those two other pounds I was going to sell, I think I'll keep them and make cookies. Maybe we'll bring some into work. Those are the Man, now i got to tell you something. Y'all got to make them cookies. Y'all make them cookies and bring us some. <laughs> I'm going to make those cookies. Those cookies are so simple. They're so simple. You say sinful? Simple and sinful. Oh, okay. There's nothing heavy about them. They're just, they're so good. Yeah, they're a, so good. There was a lady oh. I used to know uh, years ago that went to church with us, and she made the best uh, chocolate chip cookies. And I've never tasted one like it since. So, I mean, you think about people and you connect a exactly. certain thing with them. And yeah, yeah. It, that's what you remember them yeah. by. Yeah. Now, how's your mama? She's doing okay. I mean, she's, um, she's being very forgetful at times these days. And uh, she's having to take care of my dad. He's still battling. Uh, you know the, the bladder cancer. And right. Back around Thanksgiving, he got some back cramps. He's always had back spasms, you know, and he got some of that, and it hasn't went away, and he's still having to deal with it. And I went with him yesterday to the doctor, and he's very frustrated. So, wow. Y'all pray for my mom and dad. They're they're yeah. uh, getting up there, and he's 80, and she's getting ready to turn 77. Yeah. Is he still doing the worm thing? Yeah, he still got yeah. worms, and yeah. he was cracking yeah. a bunch of pecans this past season. He sold a bunch of them, sold wow. everything he had, and. But uh, he, he wants to go, he's a fishing man. So you learned staying busy fishing. at home, didn't you? I did, but uh, I'm, a, I'm a guy, I like staying busy anyway. So I, I told my wife, I said, I'll sleep when I'm dead. <laughs> that's right, that's right, that's right. <laughs> I like sleeping, I, I get my, my fair share of sleep. I sleep between seven, eight hours a day, but when it... When that's more than I get in two days, that's crazy. Well, that's your problem. Yeah, but, it's because I'm an old woman and it's in my hot flashes. You, you, you just have to get up and go pee every five minutes probably, so... Yeah, take, probably. Take your Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Milk of magnesia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you else, it. Whatever you, else you take. It. You got mineral oil and all this stuff. Yeah. It's rough to get old. You just wait till you <laughs> get here. As long as you don't take mineral spirits. Yeah, you just wait till you get here. Oh. Well, I'm getting there. I mean, I just turned fit. I'm 54 now, so. I might not look it, but then again, I might. Do you think time so. is flying by? Because when you look at well, the course. video that we just showed, that was six years ago. And honestly, it seems like it was yesterday. Well, when you called me yesterday and asked me would I come be on the show, I was thinking to myself, how long has it been? How many years has it been since we did the show full time? And 2011. Right. Yeah, the right. end of 2011. Time so. does fly. Yeah, so. yeah, time flies by, and it's crazy. It's well, crazy. I, you know, I, I think it was Clint Eastwood made a statement one time. He's, you know, he's 80. He'll be 87 this uh -huh. May. And they asked him, he said, well, how do you stay so young? Of course, he jogs all the time. But he says, I always have something planned to do the next day. And that's me. That's interesting. I, I always yeah. want to have something planned to do because you always feel like you got something to yeah. do. Do you think people at home are wondering if we're going to have a drink out of this bottle? This is it's not empty. A, this is an empty bottle with lights. And Ann actually gave it to me after the show yesterday, and I just love it. And so I thought I needed to keep it here. It's hot pink, and it matches my flowers. And I have to say, these flowers are a week old. They're doing good. Freddie Brackett pulled a number on me last week for my birthday, 
Leah had is, me is in the still, chair. Does he still love you? <laughs> yes, he does. Oh, Leah boy. had me sitting in the chair doing my hair, and she was taking forever, and I couldn't figure out why because she usually just whips me out of there. And I thought, Lord, that girl's got to get her mind on this. we got to get out of here. i got things to do. Is that, she your, was is that your real hair? That's my real hair. No, I thought it was she a wig. I'm sorry. She was stalling because Freddie had said he was sending me flowers to her beauty shop. So the flowers are now almost a week old, and, and I added the ones, some of the ones Dawn gave me, and I kind of mixed them up a little bit, left some home, brought some. But doesn't, don't flowers make you feel good? It makes my wife feel good. I, yeah. I care less, but you know, it makes her but feel good. But it does. It, it brightens your day. It brightens yeah, your day. Yeah, I mean, I so. like looking at them. They're pretty. And I, I just love them. <clears throat> now, your yard is beautiful, and do you have some roses there? Um, I don't have any roses. I've got some, we have a lot of other, i got azaleas, and uh, we, she likes putting all kinds of, she's got some uh, winter flowers out right now, uh -huh. the African violets and stuff, pansies. Yeah, yeah. She does, she loves hanging baskets and yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, There's having, something about a flower <laughs> that makes a girl feel good, so. Yeah, flowers do it. I mean, they do, you know, they do it. It's, give them to them while they're alive, though. Don't wait till they, That's right, you know. that's right. That's, that's the one thing, you know. Um, the people, Ed, that is. Ed Singleton sent me white roses last week, and I've never seen white roses hold up like these did. But they really are absolutely beautiful still today. And I thought about how precious it is to be able to change somebody's day with just a delivery. Just, you know, even if you just get them a bud base and a rose, it changes their day. What if you so, get what Marie Osmond used to sing about, paper roses. Paper roses. I don't yeah. want no paper roses. I want them to smell. <laughs> well, you could spray them with something, you know, put a little yeah, perfume okay. on them. I got you. I got you. Uh, I got you. I got you. Now, are you singing in churches any now? Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. if people want to book you and pick up the phone and call sure. you? Yeah, then call me. I just talk to this lady. She'll give you my number. But uh, yeah, I'll sing in churches and uh, I can do a couple songs or I can do a you know, 45 minute program. Is that right? Y Depends on. And, and, and today, it's you can't do squat because of. All the congestion in your head, and your, yeah, is well, it in your chest still? It's in my chest right now. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I, I was hoping I wouldn't have to use one of these today, but uh, <laughs> so I bought far. them just in case. <laughs> so far, so good. Well, we're going to take a commercial break, and when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more with Bill, and we're going to share a little bit more music, too. Um, you know, you were at the event in Jasper, and we, and we dubbed it... Um, it was just a fun night, and it was a friend raiser for Hans Rufert. Mm -hmm. And we had the Barker Brothers there. We had Archie Watkins was there and, and the Diplomats. We just had a really, really good time, and it was giving back. And that's something that you and I learned to do together because together you can make a difference in somebody's life. And, and if you know somebody who's hurting, if you know somebody who I've, – I've seen a gentleman who's helping a, a homeless veteran, and they've done so much for him lately. I think giving back to somebody else really does – set the tone for your day because then you you're like you know what you know that guy's not he, he doesn't have what i've got and we're going to help him and it makes a difference in how you feel about everything well it's one word it's love mm -hmm. just show somebody some love however you got to do it it can be done in different ways you know. that's right that's right and you're good at that we're going to take a break and do a commercial we'll be back shortly so uh what you doing? I'm uh, I'm watching TV. TV? Yeah, well, it's really nice outside. With the binoculars? Yeah, yeah, so I watch TV off the mirror that goes through the window into the binoculars so I can be, like, outside while I watch. Watch a lot of TV? ETC's TV Everywhere lets you watch TV on your phone, tablet, or computer. Visit etcnow.com to find out more. Gilmer Parks and Recreation invites everyone out to River Park on Highway 5 and LJ. Join the 50-plusers every Wednesday at 9 a.m. for a Wednesday Walk in the Park at the Tennis Courts. Free bottled water will be available. Visit our website to find out about our recreational sports programs and rec leagues. You'll also find information on mountain biking and hiking trails, as well as tubing and rafting on the Cartagena River, all on GilmerRecreation.com. Gilmer County, a great place to play. Proverbs 426 states, ponder the path of your feet, then all your ways will be sure. Too often investors are looking for instant gratification or some secret formula for success. The prudent, however, have pondered the path of their money, invested with a vision, and based upon a plan that drives the selection of their investments. We believe the prudent approach is to have a strategy and patiently work towards your goals. Give us the opportunity to compete for your business, because at Keiko Wealth Management, the wisdom is in the planning. 
At Blue Ridge Dermatology, we believe your skin is vital to your health. That's why each of our providers gives personalized treatment recommendations. Let Dr. Mills do a thorough exam. He specializes in all skin conditions. Jamie Savageau is our nurse practitioner who specializes in skin disease. And our physician's assistant, Patrick Martin, is a certified injector for facial rejuvenation. Our certified laser technician, Donna Atosco, performs laser procedures with the latest gold standard equipment. Susan Newton is our medical esthetician. She specializes in chemical peels and skin tightening. Let one of the staff at Blue Ridge Dermatology help you look and feel your best. When Mike leaves town, it's a little scary. You never know who might be outside. But we feel safer inside knowing our home is being monitored by a local company. I can check our alarm from just about anywhere. So when we get home, I know it's safe. Get peace of mind for your family with a local company. Switch your current security monitoring to ETC Security and get six months monitoring free. Call ETC Security now or visit etcsecurity.com to learn more. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow. Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Excited. We're back. Now, Bill, I wish there was a way that we could... Do you have this on a DVD? Maybe next time you yeah, come, you could bring us this on a DVD. Yeah, I would love like to just, share this with we're people. We're looking at some Grand Canyon stuff. Because the Grand Canyon photos are uh, absolutely incredible. My wife's friend, she went with us. She made this book. She went on some site uh, mm -hmm. where we take pictures. You send in the pictures and make the book. And they put us in a book. I mean, I'm like, hey. That is pretty cool. <laughs> that's better than sitting there looking at a photo yep, album. So, yeah, that is you know, pretty cool. We had a lot of fun. and. Uh, I would go the back. The colors are just incredible. Yeah, so. I would go back and do it again. So, Now, I said we were going to talk a tiny bit about what's happening tomorrow, and I'm really, really excited to say that I, <coughs> um, I will be watching, I will be celebrating our 45th president. I hope that everybody in America will come together. I hope that tomorrow will be a day of, of change and progress. We're going to make progress in 2017. It's going to be a great year. It's going to well, be a great year. I'm, people ask me what I feel about it. I'm happy for the ones who lost. <coughs> <laughs> and I'm optimistic about the one who won. So, yep. I mean, you know, yep. Yep. that's the way I look at it. And, and it's going to be, um, I hope that tomorrow will be a day that, that people do come together and, and, and put away the junk. You know, I mm. wasn't a I don't expect that to happen. I wasn't an Obama fan, but did you see me rioting or marching or protesting? Or That's crazy. It's crazy. I just sucked it up and stood eight years, and, and okay, I took it, and I did it. And, and I, you know, I wasn't his fan, but I was, he was my president. And so, so you just, this is our president. Well, you're probably like me. I was always taught to respect the office. Exactly. No matter exactly. who's in it. Mm -hmm. So, you know. And we have to say, say a prayer for the Bush family because um, the d dad Bush and mom Barbara Bush were both in the hospital, but I think doing better now. Read my lips. <laughs> no new taxes. <laughs> Lord, how did that go it. over? <laughs> I did not work. That did not work. That oh, well. did not work. That did not work. Well, you know, politics is one of them things. It's like a soap opera. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. worse than, actually, it's worse than a soap opera. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, the one thing that we're looking at, you've been to D.C., right? A few times. Okay. Loved it. I really want to go. I want to see the Vietnam Wall. That's one of the things I would love to see. I would love to see the cherry blossoms in bloom. Mm -hmm. Were you there when they were blooming? No. But I can that, see how pretty that would be. I've seen pictures yeah. of it. I've walked that, that sidewalk right along the Thomas Jefferson Memorial. It's in the around the, the basin. It's gorgeous. I, I really want to go there now. I really want to you see it. You need to. I do. I do. It's one of the things. There aren't many things left I'd like to do. Before you get really old. Oh, really old. I don't care anything about going to a foreign country. I don't care anything about going <laughs> to... This is beautiful, and I'm so glad you saw it, but I know I'm scared of heights. And, I, you know, what if I drove that far and I was scared to go there? Because I'm well, so nervous I mean, about heights. Well, I mean, there are places at the Grand Canyon where they have railing. Uh, and you can walk up to the railing. They'd have to have big railing because I'd be a big But there's brick. places they don't have railing. I mean, <laughs> if you wanted to do the deed, you could just step right off I and off you go. I was going to ask you that. Oh, Are yeah. there people who have done yeah. that? Yes. Yeah. And wow. some under mysterious circumstances. And wow. But yeah, I mean, wow. if you were goofing off, we saw one man there, his little son, he must have been about eight or nine. He kind of got away from him. 
Oh my gosh. And he let him have See, that's it. I mean, he chewed my him out. Just go crazy. Yeah, and it's not a place, I don't think it's a great place to take a small child, especially yeah. a young, adventurous boy, but uh, you need to be on your toes. Yeah. Make sure if you go to the edge and look over, there's nobody behind you. <laughs> yeah. You know, we're, we're talking about America and what tomorrow's a new day. Tomorrow's a new day for, for all of us to come together. And when you look about the places in America that you can see sure. Montana, Wyoming, Alaska, even Washington State where all the liberals live, even Oregon where the liberals live, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's beautiful, beautiful country. The United States offers so much. Why would I want to go to a foreign country when I, I haven't seen? I've only been to Texas. I've been to Indiana, Ohio. I've been to all the southern states. I've been to like Mississippi, Louisiana, all this. But I've never been any further than Texas. And, and that's, you need to do it. Yeah. Well, you went to I Alaska. Never have. But well, but you're flying, <laughs> you know, so it's different there. Yeah. You need to go to San Diego, too. It's a beautiful place. San Gorgeous. Diego Zoo, yeah. Not, well, I, I went to San Diego twice and then yet to been to the zoo. Wow. I was right next well, to it. Well, they say that that's a fantastic well, zoo. It is, so, but yeah. uh, I just love the scenery of the, the bays and all the surrounding areas. Of San, it's just gorgeous, and the weather is yeah. great. And the weather is, the temperatures are what? Well, I mean, in the winter it can get a little cool, but uh, even in the summer it doesn't really get that hot, so it's yeah. kind of a moderate temperature. I think growing up in Florida, I never thought about going to California because I've seen the beach, I've seen the ocean, I've seen the white sand, so I never thought about going to California at all. You should. But Angela loved Hollywood. I, I liked it too. She loved Hollywood, and she got to go on a tour in the limousine that was actually designed for me to go, and I couldn't go to film a television program. She got to do it. And she and Dawn went on this tour, and they said their limo driver was awesome, and they got to see this house and this house and this house, and they were all, and they went on Rodeo Drive. Mm -hmm. And I would love to do the Julia Roberts thing on Rodeo Drive. You should go see that. That would be cool. That's the weirdest place I've ever been, uh, one of the weirdest places, is Rodeo Drive. The and, shops are crazy. Yeah, the yeah. The prices are at, at, yeah. Well, it was like when we went to Las Vegas, Caesar's Palace was like that. We went in, that is the most amazing place I've been in, uh, Caesar's Palace. It's huge. It would take up probably four city blocks in LJ. Wow. Maybe six city blocks. It's yeah. just, and it's that tall, too. And when you go in, they have these murals on the ceilings that you feel like you're outside. Really? The sky is there, or at night, the stars are out. You look up, you're like, am I outside or am I inside? You're inside. But it has uh, all the shops you can ever think about, anything you want to eat, movie theaters, it has uh, uh, statues, Roman statues, and fountains, and pools, and all this stuff. And then it has amusement uh, areas, and then it has uh, like a 15 or 16,000 seat amphitheater. Elton John was performing there the whole time we were My there. My gosh. Uh, so it has everything, and including gambling, the casinos. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I don't gamble, but just for the fun of it, I went in and saw some of the casinos. Smoky, I mean, oh, you couldn't I even see yourself. Oh, I but that. they do allow smoking in there, but uh, we took $10. I said, look, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna take $10, and I'm gonna play a, a slot machine for a dollar. And, and once that's gone, it's gone. It's I'm not gone. spending no more money. Yeah. I'm just going to do it because I'm here. I've never done it. Yeah. And we walked out with $11. So. That's yeah. funny. <laughs> <laughs> and I, and that was it. I, that's that. all I did. I said I did it. <laughs> that's uh, crazy. And if you look at the old uh, videos and, and movie stuff of uh, like James Bond, Diamonds Are Forever, that was filmed in Las Vegas, uh -huh. uh, Fremont Street, all the old hotels there, uh, they've closed that to uh, walking areas now. And they put this great big old canopy over it with all these video and digital lights and LED. It, you think you're in a Star Wars movie. It's all, and they have uh, guys over there on the cables doing this gliding across through it. It's, a, it's pretty weird. Oh. And any kind of street performer you can think of, clothed or not clothed, uh -oh. Uh -oh. is there. So uh, beware of that. <laughs> When you go to Las Vegas, you better <laughs> that is crazy. You better uh, be ready to expect some. They well, call it Sin City for a reason. Yeah, right? there's a reason. You know, it's funny. I'm hung up on HGTV, but the one program I don't watch is the one done in California because I don't want to see a house that cost $850,000 in dismal repair shape, right, right. and then they're going to sell it for a million three. Who cares about that junk? Who cares? I want to see a normal house that they're going to take a normal two-bedroom, two-bedroom, two bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I want to see the real deal. So, so Las Vegas never fascinated me. Angela was very fascinated with it. She was very fascinated with Hollywood. Now, have you ever, you ever watched like Count's Customs or Rick's Restorations and, yes. and the Pawn Stars? Yes, yes. I went into every one of those places. Yes. And, but you can tour them, and uh, they're amazing to go in and see them. And yeah. Rick's restoration, he was there. They were working on stuff as we were there. And you wow. could tour the shop and see all that, and it, it, that's a lot of fun. 
a lot yeah. of things to see there. Yeah. Counts Customs cars. Yeah. Well, when I when I started watching HDTV and saw the houses out there that like a two bedroom, two bath bungalow was eight hundred ninety thousand dollars, and I'm like, are you kidding me? You could buy anything here for that, and I just thought that's crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. Relate. So, do you know? You know, what do people do for a living out there? I mean, does the movie industry pay that much? Does what do people do? Is there's, it the techno? There's techno just, lost all the money. So, what's what's going on with that? There's a lot of people do a lot of uh, gambling, and they do it as a living. Wow. Make a lot of money doing wow. that. And there's a lot of still, a lot of Hollywood shows that were produced there yeah. and all that. A lot of landscapers out there. I saw a lot of guys. There's not much grass in some places, but where they do have it, it's pretty. But most of them have rock stuff and a lot of lava rock and stuff like that. And the one thing I had to say about Las Vegas driving at night, it's very pretty if you see it from a distance coming in from Perunt, Nevada. But you can't see the lines on the roads. Uh -oh. And everybody's just making their own way around. I thought I was in a foreign country. Oh, my gosh. Because the, the paint is so worn off the roads with wow. the sands coming in and all that. You can't see where you're going. And gosh. I, we had to rely. I usually don't rely on it, but we had to get out the woman in the box out. Uh-oh. Tell us where well, we were going. You know what I did so. this morning on the way to work this morning? I was driving up 515, and I was over in the slow lane, and I was just kind of doing my thing. And I thought... I cannot imagine wanting to live anywhere other than where I live today. I love Georgia. I love yeah. the heat, the cold, the spring, the fall. I love that we have four seasons. You know, I love everything about it. I do, too. I could live in Sarasota, Florida, though. I'll tell you that right now. Well, it's so hot down there in the place. summer, yeah. I don't know, but if you live if near you live inland, it is. But if you live near the coast, anywhere within a couple of three miles of the coast, right. you get that breeze all the time. But yeah. We were down there for... I love Clearwater. It's yeah, Clearwater's nice. Yeah. It's a little too crowded for me, but I mean, Tampa and all that, St. Petersburg. Yeah, yeah. But Sarasota, if you've been to San Diego and you go to Sarasota, they both have the same Compare statue. It. Yeah. And they look a lot alike too, but the statue of the sailor kissing the yeah, nurse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're both there yeah, in both yeah. cities. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm so place. glad you were here today. Thank you for doing this. And I love your cutting boards. Those are beautiful. And I will share Bill's phone number with y'all. If you'll get in touch with me on Facebook, I'll share it. If you're interested in having him at your church and letting him, letting him come and sing a little bit. Southern Gospel. Southern Gospel. Mm -hmm. Only Southern Gospel. He doesn't Hymns. do rap. Yeah. No, I don't do rap. That's not music anyway. <laughs> he doesn't, no, 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 no. He doesn't do rap and he doesn't do that. I don't do Punk the stuff. praise and worship contemporary. I mean, no. a lot of people like it, but that's not me. I like the old that's hymns right. and the Southern Gospel songs. He He's admitting he's getting old. I'll so fly I away that. and beat a land. And, <laughs> and love lifted me. Love lifted me. And, and yeah. old rugged cross, I might yeah. add that one. So <laughs> thank you for being here. And I hope that uh, you get to feeling better next time you come. You can sing because poor Jen is sitting out there detoxing right now because she said, I can't wait to hear him sing. Well, you didn't get to, but we'll do it again next time. On so. an old rugged cross. <laughs> and, uh, that's all you get. <laughs> now, when do you get busy again? So when can we expect? We'll Late have March. Him back. Okay, so we'll have him back. We'll have him back before March. There you go. We're going to leave you now where rivers, mountains, and good friends meet. And I want to remind you, Trading Time will be on again today at 5 o'clock live. Um, we have the dynamic duo over there doing their thing now as new guys learning and Dave is kind of transitioning and it's, it's fun to watch them. So if you have something to buy, sell, or trade. Be sure and pick up the phone and call them. I called yesterday, and I hope that soon we sell that Mustang because Dom's got a Mustang for sale. We're going to leave you right here from LJ, Georgia. We'll see you again soon.